They cause enough trouble to keep the cat occupied. Count on it. Pathfinder, it seems the program I used to breach the shield could overload it and destroy this facility. However, the pulse would be lethal to Angaran physiology. That's not ideal. That sounds like a last resort. sealed until the cycle runs its course. So, we're trapped. I hate that. No, Sid. Window. Shoot it? No. The seal is invulnerable. Why would they need decontamination? Good question. Maybe the cat think they're sick. Germaphobes? Pathfinder, come in. How's it going? We're undetected, but from where we're hiding, we can see some of our people. We seem to be in a kit bonding area. No more shy yet. Understood. We're just discussing. We'll be in touch. everyone. Okay, let's stay sharp. Nice setup. They all sleep here. Some kind of Could be wrong, but this looks like a classroom. Guess facing the front of the class is universal. What's that thing against the wall? No idea. Stasis pod would be my hypothesis. Stasis pod school. A transport? Maybe they are sending Angara back to the Cat home world. Maybe. Let's get these guys without much of a ruckus. Looks doable.
fortunate welcome. Step forward. I am humbled before you. You who are the chosen. Chosen by the Archon. Chosen to be exalted. Chosen to be exalted. Looks like some sort of ritual. The Angara seem entranced. I know the Moshai. She's not down there. But maybe in one of those pods. It's as good a lead as any. You wanted a distraction? We just set our plan on fire. Then proceed immediately and bring it to me. Final exaltation. What's final? What are they doing? We have to save all the Angara. We're here. Let's do everything we can. Thank you. That wasn't the plan. Plans change. Come on. Let's see where those pods go. Them the Chosen? Chosen for what, exactly? Could they have come here because they wanted to? No, of course not. I don't know what's going on either. Whatever it is, we need to get the Moshai out of it. Come in, Pathfinder. Go ahead. We contacted Commander Dazeel. More fighters are on their way. Send scientists to and technicians. Let's gather all the intel we can. Will do. John, our objective is still the Moshai. Of course, but we can't waste this opportunity. <laughs> Sam, any luck figuring out how this place works? This tunnel looks like the right way. How many pods? This is... damn. We can try scanning. This is going to take forever. Angara and male. Estimate, 95. Healthy. Numerous healed skeletal fractures. Is this what we all boil down to? Do they get? So it seems. No luck finding anyone near her age. Ryder, if you find a console, I will try to access it. Okay, cat terminal. Let's see what you've got hiding in here. Sam? Searching. The chosen are locked by genetic information. Hurry, please. I am working at top velocity with an alien language and an alien technology. Checking against Angaran databases. The Moshai was here, but her pod was pulled out of line moments ago. Just our luck. Pods travel from here to rooms that encircle this core. On it. Let's go. Pathfinder, come in. Go ahead. Our reinforcements are arriving. We're doubling back to rendezvous. We have a lead on the Moshai. We think she's alive. Star strength has good. We'll keep in. What is this? We're just 
run yet. Grim. Contents is genetic material. Cat. Decontamination proto- Get down. Sam, can you do anything about this yet? Working on it. I'll keep scanning for the Moshai. She's got to be here somewhere. We'd better find her fast. They are us. Yeah. How many have I killed? Not knowing. Right ahead. I did not know. Jaw. The blame belongs with the cat. There's no comfort in that. No. But maybe fuel for the resistance. Maybe. Ryder, Jal, I got her. She's here. Sam, get me into that room now. Initiation decontamination bypass hack. <laughs> What have you got? I was able to access the facility plans at the last terminal. A best guess would be the shuttle launch area above. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got gotcha. you. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. Well, I don't know the rules yet. Anyway, this place is on alert. We have to get out of here, now. I'm not the only one here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> you will not take it. It is meant for the Archon himself. She's coming with us. Wait. I want to know why the Archon? Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These Chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Like them, I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do, as one day you will. Except I am gonna fuck your shit up. How's that for great? Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound Ket cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. You promised you would get our people out. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara inside. Wait! Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the Ket will simply fill this place again. With respect, our compatriots are also here, our fighters. Our scientists, our strength! All right. Release the Angara below. Enact emergency shutdown. Release all the Chosen. Jal, have the Resistance free as many as they can before the Ket arrive. I will. And thank you. I thank you too. I see you begin to un- Not likely. She deserved much worse. We have them outside. Heading to the roof for extraction. Ted incoming. They're not gonna make this easy. I don't know how this is going to end. I will help. Come, stand near me. No, Moshai! Save your strength! That's my decision to make! No Ket can stop us now! We defeated them here! Head for that platform! Yeah! Good idea! Better position! Pathfinder, come in. You have the Moshai. Hecht, get our people out! As many as you can! Before reinforcements arrive. I will, but I think we should destroy this place while we're here. Whoa, heads up! Shuttle, come in. Could really use a pickup. Sorry, I can't land. Pull up to the edge of the roof. We'll figure it out from there. Time. 
Get your team out before the kid arrives. Don't worry. We got this. Sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I did what I thought was right. I'm good with that. You'll understand then when it's time for me to do what I think is right. So the facility, what's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I... I, I can't... It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny, annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. He's obsessed, like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me, hoping to get into Aya's vault. My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefer. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I cannot thank you enough, Star, for your production. and exaltation are similar in a lot of ways. I can see it. The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. Phoebe, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike.
going through the readouts from the Kett facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Kett turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Kett. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics. Get Angaran military advisors. Research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Kett. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Ryder, Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Jal? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah, I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. You bring a lot to the team. Thank you. I look forward to even more adventures. Got a minute? Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you were killing me at poker. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. It took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. 
But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Ish. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. Well, you know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Be careful around the ship, okay? He's a good... Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. Come on, you're strong. Smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later. I thought I hated the cat before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavan? No, we'd already left Palavan by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. We'll talk later.
I know it. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that, but Exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at him, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Ryder. We can talk more later. Sure. Back again? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Those Asari refugees were a real help. Now to find the survey ship they mentioned. See you later, Cora. Callum, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callo. Callo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, 
Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Any time. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callow. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callow? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. What can I do for you? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Joel has all sorts of questions about the ship. I gave him some technical manuals. He tore right through them. I should ask him about Angaran ships. Imagine something actually designed to handle that damn scourge. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because 
It didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have made more. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. We don't technically have uniforms, but this is a little casual. <laughs> Just convenience, swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rough shin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait. What? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Mm, do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was about armor. Are you deliberately trying to offend Jal? Um, of course he is. That's the point. Asking stuff diplomats leave out. Armor for answers. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? I hope you know what you're doing. I don't need the Nexus breathing down my neck. Relax. Jar won't complain to HR or whatever Tan thinks we report to. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained, they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning signs, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally. Like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn. That's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Terv Uni. A home on Vold. Sort of. Still feels good, though. We'll talk later. I know it. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my Steady. 